Shut up and sit down. Hey everybody, Barry here again. Hey everybody, Barry here again. Welcome back to part two of making my own truck bed out of pallets. It doesn't really look like pallets right now. That's why there's part two. This is a half inch piece of plywood. It's like select or good one side or something. It's really good stuff. And here are the pieces of pallets. And what I'm gonna be doing is not straight pieces of wood like is in every old truck. I'm gonna be doing a herringbone style, which is gonna sort of zigzag the wood on a 90 degree angle from each other. And here I have a bunch of old pallets that I took apart in the last video, cut on 45s on one end, that will meet up against the side of the bed here. The ends up here are left straight because they'll zigzag, like I said, and they won't be all coming flush at an angle with each other, but I'll show that in a second. But for right now, I've got to get this wood down level. There's a bolt right here that's holding the bed on itself. So I'm just gonna cut a hole in the wood here and on this side, and it'll get it down flush with the rails, and then I can start cutting up my lumber. And here I have the holes drilled. So the bolts come up pretty much flush, so they need to be cut out. And now I can start cutting up some boards. Hello, Dwayne. Hey. Look, I got the... Um, Bolts cut out. They come out nice. Oh, yeah. So I'll just probably drill a smaller hole through the actual board and then bolt it all to the bed yeah. of the panel. Yeah. I think uh, if I just got longer bolts, we'd probably. Yeah. That's going to change. So I think what's going to happen over time, just with movement, you'll end up wearing a hole in your fuel cell. That's so you like, open it up a little bit more. Yeah. Like I said, even if, like I said, when you rotor it, it'll, it'll uh, take some off. You know, like. Okay. Well, yeah, I can run a base anyway. Yeah. Or I can just grab so I can go and cut it off more. Yeah, or whatever, right? Probably the back is fine. It could be a little bit more. But... Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I was thinking about it. I was, I was like laying in bed thinking about it. But, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, you know what? That's going to wear, you're going down the road and all of a sudden, where's a hole through the side of your fuel cell? And then you're like, oh. yeah, right? Yeah, we don't need that. I think I'll just start in one random place and just set it because yeah. I've still got to cut. All the angles, yeah. there, cut of triangles, and yeah. cut there. Cut that there. might be jigsaw stuff, right? Like, like well, or, yeah. Or maybe if you started your first piece like this, right, like that, right then, on the edge of this. Yeah, like like the right there, right, yeah. and then work because this will be shorter. That would this will be longer. Spots, so that would be the only. That'd be a good spot to start each one, right? Cool. All right, I'll do that. Okay, so I've got to be completely honest. I don't really have a plan here. Obviously, I know I'm doing the herringbone, but I don't know if I'm going to go completely right straight up the middle with the pattern, come off at an angle a little bit. It's going to be broken up by the fuel cell. The battery is going to be around here somewhere. The radiator is going to be right there. So obviously, I'm not going for symmetry because, well, you know, for one, how much symmetry is there really? So, uh, I think I'm just going to start cutting boards, and as long as the boards are 90 degrees to each other, it's going to be just fine anyway. No gaps. And the bed is 50 inches wide. The board was 48, so obviously I have a gap here. But I'm going to do my best to fill that in and have the boards up as flush as I can get them to the side right here. Wish me luck.
Well, I think I'm making some serious progress here. It looks so cool. It's not perfectly centered and it kind of does this, I think, but I could be wrong because the distance from here to here and here to here are very close and I didn't, I didn't even really measure that. I just went off this being 90 degrees, but man, it's, uh, it's, it's really taken shape for what I want. You can see every join where the wood comes together because it's not consistent. Like we got a white color board here, or more of a peach color here, a lighter one, darker. I love it. It looks so cool. And I've got to fill in the corners, so I'll just cut a piece out on a 90, however long it needs to be. And I think I can grab one nail right there, so I think I'll be, I think I'll just make it there. And I'm not sure what's going to happen over here. Is it going to work? Maybe I'll nail it this way into the board something. I'll figure it out anyway. But, yeah, I got to continue on. And uh, I notched out the boards right here. And Dwayne's miter saw, I can do some serious stuff. Like, you can turn it over so it cuts the wood on an angle on a 45. And then you can tilt so it cuts that on a 45. And you can actually get your board to cut sort of slanty. So it's got a seam right here and not just a straight cut. So that's really cool. And I've got to continue on and fill in this. And then I've got to continue on and fill in back here. And I'm not just going to put a triangle in here. It's going to be the same thing like this until I get to nothing down here. And then the same right here. When I get down to right here, I'm also going to do wood here like this. And it's going to make it a little more difficult. I probably could have just put one right across, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. And Dwayne kind of put an idea in my head where he was like, all of those straight edges, we could kind of clean those up a little bit. Like right here, how this is just a straight edge. He said, you could kind of round that off a little bit when we get the wood there and have this shape on the wood also. So it would kind of come down to meet. So he brought in his spinning wheel death machine and we're going to, uh, well, I've never used a router before, but uh, I think it's gonna kind of put a neat angle on it. And hopefully I can also clean up this edge up here a little bit so that it'll kind of go down flush. So what I'm gonna do is after I get all this done and nailed down, I'll pull the whole pan floor off, bring it over here somewhere and go bzzz. And I'll have lots of room. I'll be able to get at the edges in here. I'll be able to get at all the way up around the fenders. And I think that'll tidy it up like a lot. It'll add that little bit extra uh, class to it <laughs> that I can't add myself without these ideas. Like I've never used a router before. I never even thought about it. But this thing is like a horsepower and a half and it'll tear your wrists off apparently if it hooks in. So we might have to show me how to use that one. And I've got some more pallets here because we got like six kids free yesterday. So if I run out, then maybe I'll add a piece of a green pallet to it. That's the cool part. Who cares? I am so stoked at how this is coming out. Oh, wow. The bulk of it is done. And don't worry about these hard edges here, how nothing matches up, because we're gonna run the router across that and that should clean it up a lot. Over here is actually not quite as bad, but either way, it'll have a little bit of a seam there. Uh, I, I had that blue board 
upside down. <laughs> On the bottom side of the blue ones is actually a little bit more whiter. Like this is quite blue. That's a little bit less blue. But it was such a difficult cut and it was like three, four different angles and I had to hold the board really sketchy with the chop saw there. I'm not doing it again. Cause I'll end up chopping my finger off. But one blue board, we'll call that an accent board. Um, now, basically, I just gotta be cutting 45s. Not a big deal. None of this craziness right here where I've gotta be cutting a straight 45 here and angled 45 is no more of that. It's all done. Right up there is done. Like I said, not perfect. I'm not looking for perfect. I just gotta fill in these boards. That one right here, this one's gonna be a little bit funnier, but I think it's gonna work really well. Oh, I'm so excited. I know there's not a lot of hands on, not a lot of talking and stuff here, but. I'm, uh, I'm just cutting board. <laughs> just going, zzz, zzz, zzz. there's not, not a lot to be said. But uh, there's a lot to see. And my pattern, I'm really loving the pattern. If I realized it, I probably wouldn't have put these two white boards right next to each other. Like maybe I would put that one over there somewhere, but whatever. If anybody gives me a hard time about having two same color boards next to each other, they, I don't know, they can go build their own car or something. So I'm just gonna go finish it up and then we'll have a little bit extra time left over to do the routering, which I haven't done before. So fingers crossed that I don't suck my shirt into it or something. Look at how good that looks. Wow. It, it has all the colors. It's got green and blue. I am absolutely in love. This is the best, this is the best so far that I've had in the truck. I've had the straight wood. I've had just a soft roll up tunnel cover. This is absolutely the coolest. Absolutely the coolest. And somebody who's really good at woodwork would have done this much better and it would have looked really, really good. But I didn't, I, I, I wasn't going for that. I was going for this. Man, this is cool. So the next thing for me to do is try to get this out. I have no idea if it's gonna come out or not because it's jammed up pretty good, so I'm going to screw down all the boards and then try to pull it off. And I'll have to pry on the sides over here a little bit and stuff and just try to get it out. That way I can run a jigsaw or a circular saw across all the edges out here and then run the router around it. <sighs> Let's try it. See what happens.
Man, that was a lot of screwing. It's all done. Well, done is a relative term. It's all screwed down. Except for that one, kind of hit the frame. <laughs> Man, my hands are rotten. Wow, rusty old trucks will do that to you. Now I'm gonna try, is it, oh, it might come up. Ooh, wow. Oh yeah, I think it's actually gonna come up. Sweet. It's kind of denting in my fender right there. <laughs> but I think if I pick this side up first, and just kind of let it go this way, I think it might work. And I'm also gonna trim out an edge out around here because uh, it's probably gonna squeak or potentially wear through my uh, fuel cell here and I don't really need that. But let's uh, see if we can get this thing taken out. Well, I'm not quite sure how well this is gonna work, but maybe a little better than I expected. All right, so I don't really have any way to grab it. This might be a two person operation. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it up. <laughs> It's a big step. Well, let's see if I can get it down without breaking it. Please don't break. I don't want to have to do this twice. <laughs> it worked well the first time. God, that's heavy. Sweet. Wow, that actually looks like a burned door. <laughs> how cool is that? All right. Dwayne's going to give me a rundown on how to use a river. Sure. <laughs> You're going to do the tank first, I guess? Yeah, let's do that first. Let's see what it is. Okay, all you, man. And the biggest thing is is this, like, to get it not to tip, especially out here. Yeah. Just to try to, like, this is going to be Keep wrong. It. Oh, okay. Right? You got a little bit off of that. So, so you ready? Yes. Put it on max. That's angry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it is. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Man, that is so cool. Man, we can make cabinets of this. Wow. This will be. We're getting sawdust all over Aaron's car. Yeah. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> Look at the concentration. That is mean. Wow. Because they're not because it's not level. Well, it ain't level, but I can just kind of sand it out after with yeah. a chainsaw or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, you're the carpenter. This is yeah. sick. Wow. Well, that doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I can try like. No, I, don't, I wouldn't do anything that's going to take a finger off or anything. 
I mean, is that new, I guess, but oh, that's my bad. Dude, that is a cool machine. Yeah, she's a... Wow, that is the coolest tool. I can see me doing some damage with yeah, that. Just it out. There's no screws or anything or nails in the end of this either. Yeah, so. you're good, as long as you try to go through screws or something. So that's not gonna trim anything, is it? No. Like actually grab the circular it, saw and cut yeah, that a little bit bigger anyway. If you, if you, you know, I think the ends were fine, it was just this. Oh yeah, it was a side. So right. I should run the circular saw across here first and then use that again? And then do that again, yeah. Ah, cool. All right, I think I can do that. Yeah. Wow, I like it, Dwayne. Thanks, man. That is, I shouldn't be left alone with a piece of machinery like that. That's cool. That's gonna look so cool with the edges on it. Yeah, like I said, if you square this off. Yeah. Just square it off as much as you can and then and then run the rotor over it. It's too tight. I'll just run it along and just, just kind of crisp it up here, I guess, or what? Yeah. That'd be cool. Cause I did it so the boards right here were flush. Yeah. Sweet. Right. Thanks, man. Yep. You've saved the day again, Dwayne. <laughs> See ya. Ooh, blue Subaru. Wow. All right, we're going to go check out Aaron's Subaru now because this is the coolest car in the parking lot. It's a, it's a this, it's a Subaru. It's Subaru WRC Blue. And it has red really armor mud flats. And I just realized that my lens was rotten. Yep. Oh, oh no. Aaron, I showed them your license plate. Now they know where you live. And he's cleaning it all up right nice. Aaron, you look embarrassed. Are you embarrassed? I like your car, man. And there's me. Look. Look at it. And there's the construction guys. Bye. Oh, and also it has six speed. Weird. Why do woodworking tools have to be so violent and angry? There's sawdust everywhere. I mean, like, it's, it's everywhere. Oh man, but what a job. I mean, I'm not very good at this at all, but man, it's put, it put an edge on it. That's kind of cool actually. It looks like a countertop. <laughs> I think if I could make a table like this, but have it completely planed off so it's level, like on the bottom and have all these call I think it'd be really really cool and I kind of dug it in a little bit too far there but whatever I don't care I like it and I don't think I'm gonna be able to put corners in here because there's nothing to actually screw them down to but that's that's it that's part of it and I got this here kind of planed off here that's all routed there it ain't perfect that's not what I'm looking for and it ain't pretty but it definitely will work so I'm gonna go put this in the back of the truck again and we'll see what it looks like and then that's another project done yes and a huge thanks again to Dwayne Mifflin your man for bringing in woodworking tools and obviously Craig here at CarQuest because I never thank him enough for pushing me to do my YouTube channel and tell me that I can film here and stuff and work on the rat rod and all that so that's you guys are the best this thing this is going in now and it's gonna be so cool. 
I went ahead and cut all of the screws off. I flipped over the bed floor. I didn't want to bother everybody with that. And the screw heads are the points. We're all sticking down a bunch, like a half inch. They were different lengths anyway. So I sliced all those off of the grinder. So when I'm up and under it, I don't puncture the top of my head and light it in place. And look how good it looks. Man, am I ever excited about how that looks. It fits so much better. It fits so good for how twisty this whole truck is. I trimmed out some more in along here when I was going around with the circular saw. And I trimmed out a bunch in here too and that allowed the pan to come in further. Now, like I said, it isn't absolutely perfect because look at that. And look at that. But, man, oh, I'm so happy with it. That just sets off the whole truck. Now I'm gonna worry about securing this down in another video probably, and what that's gonna be, I can't say exactly. I know I have two threaded holes in under here and in under here that actually bolts the bed on. So I might take those bolts, they'll drill a small hole, run two bolts right down through and sort of pinch all of it. I might do that, I might not, I'm not quite sure yet. I know in the front there's factory bed mounts that I can run a lag bolt up through or an actual bolt. And this bed isn't going anywhere anyway, so it doesn't need a whole lot of support. It's laid right on the frame. And I thought about potentially maybe making some L brackets and just bolt it to the bed here, come across, bolt it right down to the bed floor in say four locations, maybe like here, and then right up there in the corner and in there, and that'll sort of sandwich it down and it would be so easy to do that let me just make sure this tailgate closes because i did trim the back here it was actually stopping the tailgate from closing much better one thing i love about these old trucks is the hooks they make so much noise it's a racket when you're driving down the highway and you hit a pothole it's like I'm actually surprised it hasn't beaten my tail lights out yet. <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty good yet. But yeah, this is uh this is one more big project checked off the list. Oh, I'm so happy with how it looks. I don't think I could have done better. I'm sure some of you guys could have done better. Maybe you're carpenters. Maybe you can eyeball a straight line with a skill saw much better than I can. Maybe you can read a tape better than I can, but that's kind of the point of doing it yourself as you figure it out as you go. I'm not a woodworker, absolutely not. I don't claim to be anything even close to a woodworker. Uh, I use a claw hammer to beat kingpins out of vehicles or ball joints. So, you know, like I have one. And I use a flat bar for things that you shouldn't use a flat bar for. But that's it. So I'm all done here for tonight. This is done. I'm gonna go on to, oh, I'm gonna do wiring. Well, see you in six months, I guess. <laughs> so much wiring to do. Well, I'm all done. So thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks to all my YouTube members and patrons and new subscribers. We're getting really, really close to my end goal of 10,000. And that's so exciting. And if you wanna check out my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash station road rat rods. And my YouTube members link is down here. And also check out my Teespring store for merch, like hoodies and t-shirts and mugs and all that cool stuff. And that'll help make this project do what it needs to do and probably help fund some gas because with twin turbos, it's not gonna be that easy on gas, I don't think. It's not gonna be a Prius for sure. So thanks for watching. Have a great night, everybody.